Allahu, Allahu, Allahu, Allah, Allahu, Allahu, Allahu, Allah, Allahu, Allahu, Allahu, Allah, Allah. Allahu Allahu Allahu Allah Allahu Allahu Allahu Allah Allahu Allahu Allahu Allah Allahu Allahu Competition with a green shake. <laughs> he is Pavarotti, mashallah. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah. May Allah make us happy. Amen. May Allah make us loving all the time. Amen. Make Allah. Let Allah make us with the shaykh because the shaykh they give us happiness. Allah. Allah'a niyaz ediyorum ki bizi mutlu etsin, bizi mesud etsin, bizi Şeyh Efendilerle beraber mutluluğu versin. Kimin şeyhi varsa mutluluk ona verilmiştir. Anybody have şeyh, the happiness been given. Elhamdülillah. This is everybody must know. Everybody must know. If you have a guru, you oh. being giving happiness. If you have a sheikh, you being giving super happiness. Allah. If you been having Sultan al Awliya, you are mega happy. Oh. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> bir insanın bir onu yol gösteren bir insan varsa o mutlu insandır. Bir insanın şeyhi varsa o daha da mutludur. Bir insanın Sultanül Evliya mürşidi kamili varsa onun mutluluğuna denecek bir şey yok. Bu da böyle bilinsin. Bu da böyle anlaşılsın inşallah. Now 
So many people asking, why Sheikh? <laughs> Yahoo, you are swimming nowhere. And you are far, far away from everything. And you are not knowing how to swim. And then you asking why I need somebody to put me in boat to teach me how to swim and to teach me how to see everything. And then you so ignorant say, why I need Sheikh? Allahu Akbar. Diyor ki biz Sheikh'e ne ihtiyacımız var? Mürşide ne ihtiyacımız var? Ya sen okyanusun ortasında yüzme bilmen kara uzak herhangi bir şey yok ve sen dedin ki o kadar bir cahil kafayla ki ya ben niye ihtiyacım var bir şeyhe veyahut da beni kurtarmaya gereken bir insana olur mu öyle şey tabii ki şeyh de lazım gemi de lazım efendime söyleyeyim öğreten de lazım bu böyle bir Kur'an kim diyebilir ki bu dünyada biz bir şey yapamıyoruz. Kim değer ki biz bu dünyada bir şey yapabiliriz. Şeysiz yapamazsınız. Şeysiz yapamazsınız. You cannot do anything without Sheikh. You cannot do anything without teacher. You cannot do anything without somebody to teach you something. Sayyidina Ali karramallahu vajha. He was saying if somebody teach me one letter I am accepting to be his servant for 40 years. Imagine how important somebody teaching you something. And especially the teaching, it is not, cannot be pure all the time. There's so many kind of teaching. The teaching of shaitan is different. Teaching of ego is different. Teaching of shaitan people is different. Teaching of I don't know is different. Sometimes they teach you in the name of religion, it will be different also. They say, yes, you can kill people in the name of religion. You can kill children in the name of religion. You can kill people in the name of religion, the civilian people. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم. This is also teaching. We are looking for the pure teaching. If Allah Almighty He put us in the pure teaching, <coughs> then we are able to get that teaching, and we stick with it. That's why they say when you find the pure teaching, don't run away. Be there, because this. Will take you to Allah Almighty, to Rasulullah. Bu diyorlar ki dünyada öğrenmen gereken çok şey var. Tabii ki dünyada çok ilim var, çok bilim var. Kimisi şeytanın ilmi, kimisi nefsin ilmi, kimi şeytan insanların ilmi, kimi o öyle bir insanların ilmi ki sana der ki din adına insan öldürebilirsin. Din adına çoluk çocuk öldürebilirsin. Din adına kendini öldürebilirsin. Bunlar olmaz olmayan şeyler. Din çerçeveli bir şeydir. Din sana helalle haramı beyan etmiştir. Ne yapıp ne yapmayacağını da beyan etmiştir. Sen kendi kafana göre bir çizelge çizemezsin. Bir plan yapamazsın. Bir insanları istediğin gibi incidemezsin. Bunlar Allah'ın yarattığı kullardır. The religion itself it is have a barriers what you can do and what you cannot do and what you can permit it to do and what is you cannot no permission to do. It is important that to understand and to absorb and to digest the religion what the religion is says. When you find the pure knowledge, you stick with it, you be with it, and continue with it. It is important that when Allah Almighty, He give you the pure knowledge, you see the light of that knowledge. You don't feel heavy, you don't feel like you have 
fight inside you. Uh, this is true or not? Because the true is hot is all the time shouting. I am the hawk, Allah, Allah Almighty. Allah. He say, I am the hawk. That's mean the hawk is shouting, shouting, shouting, and you cannot miss it. So, oh, I didn't see you. No, I didn't see you. No, it is really loud. Allah, Zul Jalal ve Kedakaddes Hazretleri diyor ki, Hakkı buldunuz mu? Hakka hemen yapışın. Ama hak da böyle gizli saklı değildir. Hak devamlı bağırmaktadır ve beyan ayandır. Diyor ki ben hakım. Hak kimdir? Allah'tır hak. Anal hak. Anal hak. Anal hak. Allah Almighty. He is the hak. That's why the hak is very important and that's why Maulana Sheikh was saying Sheikh Nazim Al Hakani Kaddas Allah Surro. That's mean. He present the hak and he is the hak and he is loud as a hak to be seen, to be seen and to be understand. They are never hidden. They are never hidden and they are never ever trying to be hidden. They all the time want to be show the hak. Because the people, the poop, the people, they are poor, actually. The people, they are poor. Because if nobody shows them things, how they can measure? So that's why Maulana Sheikh, he was all the time showing himself, all the time. He got any opportunity to show himself as a haq. That's why it's important for us to show ourselves as a haq. It is our duty to show ourselves as a hak. Sheikh Efendi Hazretleri kendini adını dedi ki Sheikh Nazim El Hakkani hakkı temsil eden hak budur ve Sheikh Efendi Hazretleri devamlı kendisini gösterirdi. Derdi ki hak budur. Hakkani demesi hak budur. Ey insanlar bu insanlar zavallıdırlar. Bir şey göstermedikten sonra o insanlar ne yapsın? Onun için Şeyh Efendi Hazretleri hem münasebette kendini göstermek isterdi. Her münasebette kendini beyan etmek isterdi ki hak görünsün. Hak zahir olsun. Onun için bizim vazifemizdir. O hakkı göstermektir. Biz Şeyh Efendi'nin müritleriyiz. Biz Şeyh Efendi'nin çocuklarıyız. Biz Şeyh Efendi'nin canı ciğeriyiz. Ve biz bu hakkı göstermemiz lazım. O Şeyh Efendi Hazretleri'nin gösterdiği hakkı göstermemiz lazım. Bu da bizim vazifemizdir. It is remind me with very funny story about Timur Lang. He was one day very angry. Very very angry. And Timur Lang says I will make competition for the city people and say what kind of competition you ask your majesty I say I want to see who is the most brave one among these people and to show me himself that he is not scared from his wife <laughs> very angry Sultan he doesn't have any joke no. I want somebody to be brave to show me who not is scared from his wife say what you order say we put two tents in the center of the city and one tent it is called the one they are scared from their wife and the other ten it's the one they are brave and not scared from their wife and announce it and tell the people who will go for which and if anybody lie I will chop his head off no joke this is <coughs> Timurland then all the people going out Everybody going for the tents that freight from the wives. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> 
everybody. It was so crowded that tent doesn't fit even. <laughs> it was outside us. <laughs> and the other tent, there was one man, very skinny, very weak looking, and he was sitting alone in that tent, alone. Ah, that tent, it was so crowded. And Timur Lang come with his majestic looking and majestic. What? What you are doing there? Telling. You are not scared from your wife and you are here as a brave man. Say, no, I scare from my wife. Say, why you are not going there? And you are here. You don't know what is the penalty of lying? I say, yes, I know. So how you dare to be here? Wondering, Timur Lang. I say, in the morning when my wife, she sent me to be in the tent, she was telling me, be careful, my husband, to not be in the crowd. Because maybe in the crowd is not good for you. Be alone is better. So I find this tent, nobody here. <laughs> and I listen for my wife, I'm busy. You are not scared from the death? No, I scared from my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Say, this is hack. <laughs> it's a hack when it is. <laughs> that man, he is scared from his wife. That's mean. Her right, her hack is very strong on her, on him, that even he doesn't care for his life. <laughs> <gülüyor> Allahu Ekber. Bu hatırlatıyor ki bu hak hukuk meselesi ve bir insanın görünmesi için Timur Lenk bir günden bir güne böyle çok canı sıkılmış. Yapacak bir şey de yokmuş. Demiş ki ya bir mesele yapalım bu insanlara. Ne yapalım mı demişler. Hünkarım. Demiş ki ya bu insanların kimi kılıbı kimi Kazak. İki tane çadır koyalım. <gülüyor> bakalım bu insanların kimi kılıbıktır, kimi kazaktır görelim bakalım. E tamam demişler. Ama demiş ki birisi yalan söylerse kellesini uçururum. Ona göre de bilinsin. İki tane çadır koymuşlar ve insanlara ilan etmişler. İnsanlar gelmişler. O kılıbık çadırında bu insanlar üst üste, üst üste hiç kimse o bir çadırda yok, kazak çadırda yok. Bir tane böyle ince, sıska, ya dertli bir adam orada tam ortasında oturuyor. Gelmiş Timur Lenk bakmış, ya demiş ki, sen kazak mısın? Hayır demiş. E niye sen bu kazak çadırında oturuyorsun? Demiş ki benim hanım sabah sabah bana tembih etti. Dedi ki sakın ola kalabalığın içine karışma yoksa karışmam. <gülüyor> ben de dedi hanımın korkusundan buraya oturdum. Burası dedi haydi kimse yoktu. Ben de tenhaya geldim demiş. <gülüyor> Onu da almışlar kılıbıklar kralı yapmışlar. <gülüyor> They make him the king of The one they scare from their wives. <laughs> He becomes the king of the one they are scared from their wife. So this being known as a hack for him to be a king. It was known for him to be the royal majesty that he is the one scared from the wives. Alhamdulillah, we are also, we have saying that say, The one doesn't care from his wife, doesn't care from Allah Almighty also. 
Bu da çok mühim bir laftır Türklerin. Allah Hanım'dan korkmayan Allah'tan korkmazmış. Onu da bilinsin. <gülüyor> Because we will end up in the hand of the wives. We will end up in their mercy. This, that's why you have to be clever and you have to be treat them well and you have to be listen to them if necessary. <laughs> this is Maulana Sheikh, he was doing all these jokes for the wives to make them happy and for the men to make them feel more, more warm, to not make uh, big things between the two parties. He is all the time joining every party. So that's why so many people, they say we have this problem, we have that problem. My wife have this problem. I have my, my husband have this. Yahoo. It is running time. Just spend it. Don't stuck there. Just get for the second station. Keep going on. Keep moving on. The time is running. It doesn't stop. You have a problem. Yeah, the problem is there. Leave it. Just continue. Yeah. Yalla, yalla, yalla. <laughs> Çoğu insan geliyor Şeyh Efendi Hazretlerine ya diyor ki işte benim hanımla problemim var. Kadınlar geliyor benim kocamla problemim var. Ya Şeyh Efendi Hazretleri ya geç onları zaten zaman akıyor. Sen hadi acele et ikinci stasyona geçmeye bak. Bunlarda takılma durma. Çünkü bunlarda takılıp durdun mu? Hep Allah'ı unutuyorsun. Peygamberi unutuyorsun. Efendime söyleyeyim evliyaları unutuyorsun. ibadeti unutuyorsun. Senin esas geldiğin Maksadı unutuyor. It is Maulana Sheikh he was chasing us to say keep going on because the problem is, is there doesn't doesn't change. But if you <coughs> st stick with the problem, then you will be all the time forgetting Allah Almighty, forgetting Rasul Allah, forgetting Awliya Allah, forgetting your worship to Allah. It is this is not why we come. This is what not what we are being created. We've been created to be servant for Allah Almighty. Allah. That's why the awliya, they separate their <laughs> private life with Allah Almighty life. This is what they are doing. That's why they are successful to go on with what happening. Because they say, if you are mixed with the problem, it will be like octobots never let you to go out. Allah. But if you are managed to be over the problem, so the problem will be there, doesn't, doesn't go away. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go higher and higher and higher in your spiritual world. This is very important teaching for us because we need such a thing. And this is, if you can present this for your family and your family can understand this one, then it will be cooperation between the two parties and shift you up and up and up because our main purpose of creating, creation, it is what Allah Almighty He want. He didn't want us to be stick in the problem. He want us to be because the problem is the step to make us higher and higher and higher. This is one vessel to make us going higher and higher. Allah bize bu problemleri zaten içimizde olduğunu biliyoruz. Bu problemler her zaman var oldu. Ama Evliyaullah bu problemleri ikiye ayırdı. Bir dedi ki Özel hayat bir dedi ki Allah için yaptığım hayat. Bu hayatlar da önemlidir ki çünkü ikisini bir araya getirdiğin zaman o ahtabut gibi problemler seni çeker aşağıya aşağıya aşağıya çeker. Ama sen o problemin üstünde durursan bu sefer problem zaten orada devam ediyor. Ama sen yükseliyorsun yükseliyorsun ve bu problemler zaten makam atlamak için olağan bir sebeplerdir. Onun için Allah bizi 
Affetsin, Allah bizi nefsimize yenik tutmasın, Allah bizi kendi yolunda ilerlemeyi nasip etsin. Bizi de Şeyh Efendi Hazretlerine muhabbetimizi daim etsin, ihlasımızı daim etsin. Şeyh Efendi Hazretleri bizimle gurur duyması için de biz de elimizden geleni yapmaya gayret edelim, himmet edelim. It is important to know that this problem it is there. But we inshallah this problem will make us to go higher and higher with the maqams that Allah Almighty he grant us. And we are asking that Allah Almighty he make us sincere to Maulana Sheikh. And may Allah ask Allah Almighty to make us to be in love with Maulana Sheikh more and more. And we ask Allah Almighty to make our Sheikh proud of us that we are continuing in his road. We are continuing in his mission and we are all of us his servant to distribute hak around the world and to make so many people to know hak and to be with hak and to enjoy hak inshallah wa min allah tawfiq bi hurmat al habib bi hurmat al fatiha subhan allah Sultan Allah, Nabi Muhammad, alayhi salam. Subhan Allah, Sultan Allah, Nabi